Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. Today is a very exciting video because I finally have in my hands the fragrance that I have been wanting to get for so long. It's my biggest fragrance unicorn that I have been obsessed with ever since I started this fragrance journey. And this is, of course, as you saw by the title, Surge of Italica. So, like I said, I've wanted this fragrance for a very long time. I've never sampled it. And I don't know why, but this has been sort of my biggest fragrance obsession. Even though I've never tried it, I really wanted to have it. Many refer to it as, you know, the greatest gourmand ever. I will tell you my opinion about that towards the end of the video. And because this is gourmand, because this, this was so hard or almost impossible to find, I really wanted to get it. And if you watched my channel for a while, you know that I mentioned this fragrance quite a few times on my channel. In fact, very recently when I did my fragrance addiction tag, there was a question about fragrance on my wish list that I wasn't able to get, and that was Xerge of Italica. And soon after filming that video, I found out that it will be re-released on Xerge of website for Valentine's Day, which is when I purchased it. And I received it a few days ago, so I've had a few days to test it out, to play with it, and form a pretty solid opinion about it. As of right now, as of uh, the time that I'm filming this video, I just checked Xerge of website and it is still available. So, uh, originally I thought maybe I'm going to do the unboxing, but I kind of decided not to do that because I wanted to properly test the fragrance so that I can really tell you my opinion about it. But I did film a short clip of me unboxing the packaging as it came, which I'm going to insert here. Um, you know, I'm unboxing with one hand, holding the phone with another, so it's a bit shaky, but... For those of you that enjoy <laughs> the sounds of unboxing and want to see how Xerge of packages uh, come, uh, how they look, you know, this is your chance to see that. So I'm going to put in the clip right here. you saw in the box, in addition to um, Xerge of Italica, which is obviously <laughs> why the order was placed, I was also able to order uh, a customized uh, sample set. Uh, this was for free as a bonus, I guess, with the order. Um, I don't believe I unwrapped it when I did my unboxing, but here's the sample set and I was able to choose for samples that I wanted to try. And in addition to that, um, there was also another little surprise of five 
additional samples that um, they included as well. So I definitely have a lot of Xergel fragrances to test. And in fact, even uh, before this order, I already had quite a few of their samples. So um, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in um, in a video where I would be uh, testing all of these samples and letting you know kind of my opinion. So definitely let me know if you're interested. I can definitely do a video like that. But of course, we're all here uh, because of Italica. So I'm gonna show you again, close up of the packaging. So here's the box, definitely very, very beautiful. Uh, it opens up, so the fragrance is in here. I took it out already, so here's the bottle it is gorgeous it is stunning definitely definitely beautiful this is 100 ml so the way uh, I'm going to do this review is uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the fragrance um, you know the notes what it smells like to me then I'm going to rate it um in five categories and finally sort of tell you my final thoughts and opinions well was it worth it is it really the best gourmand? So originally, Italica was released in 2016 as an exclusive to either Selfridges or Harrods. I can't remember. And that's, uh, it was only available there. Then last year, at some point, it was re-released on Xerge of website for a limited time. I believe it sold out pretty quickly and it wasn't available since then. And like I said, this year, they decided to re-release it again for Valentine's Day. So again, here's the bottle. What is this fragrance about? Obviously, you already know it's a gourmand. The notes in here are almond, milk, saffron, toffee, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. This is the fragrance that I'm wearing today as well. So I can smell it here. I can smell it from the bottle. What does it smell like? So to me, it smells like uh, I'm eating a sweet almondy cookie that has some toffee in it and I'm having it with a glass of milk. So the most prominent notes to me are almond, toffee, and milk. It definitely has lactonic quality to it. That's why it makes me think of having this cookie with uh, a glass of milk. Um, it is sweet, but to me, um, toffee is much stronger than vanilla. I mean, vanilla is there, definitely, but I'm getting toffee much stronger than vanilla. So it is sweet, but it's, it is definitely not overpowering. It is not too sweet. Uh, the sweetness here is very much in moderation. Um, there is sandalwood here, which sort of brings some creaminess to it, but I I would definitely not call the scent woody. There is musk in here, which I'm not picking up at all. And there's also saffron, which was really the note that concerned me the most when I was ordering this, because I'm not a fan of saffron in many of the fragrances that I have tried. And to me, I can't really say, thankfully, that I'm really picking up a lot of saffron. Which is interesting because when my husband smelled this and he's a fan of saffron, he definitely picked it up. He said that to him, saffron is quite evident. So you see different noses pick up different things. But for me, it's mostly toffee, almond, and milk. That's basically what I'm getting. Uh, overall, you know, the scent honestly is not overly complex and I don't think it changes all that much throughout the life of the scent. It is somewhat linear. I mean, there are some changes, but there, uh, there are small changes, nothing major. Um, what happens is that I feel like the the sweetness gets um, stronger as the scent sits longer on my skin and maybe uh, vanilla comes out a little bit more as it sits on my skin. And in general, I would say uh, in, a, in the opening, I sort of, these three major notes, I pick them up very clearly, but it's more like I pick them up um, sort of separately, whereas the longer it sits on the skin, the more these notes sort of blend together. 
that's really it about the scent. Like I said, it's not overly complicated. So now let's talk about some details and my sort of um, rating criteria for this fragrance. Now I'm going to rate it in five different categories uh, out of five. So first, let's talk about the packaging. Obviously, the packaging is stunning, beautiful. There's no question that this is luxe, beautiful. However, uh, I know that the packaging for this fragrance has changed this year. Um, and that is because from what I understand, Xerjov is going more into kind of a um, sustainable, environmentally friendly type of packaging, which I can totally understand and I totally support. Previously, the bottle was kind of um, covered in this velvety material and the box looks look different as well. It was more golden and it opened up differently. Um, it just, I, I've never held it in my hands, obviously, but I, I've seen pictures, I've seen unboxing videos and um, it just looked a little bit more Lux, a little bit more bougie. It just had something a little bit extra. And so even though I understand why the packaging was changed, even though the packaging is still beautiful, but if I compare it to how previous versions of Italica looked, I'm gonna give packaging four out of five just because it's just missing that something extra that the previous packaging had, at least in my opinion. Next category is price. And obviously we all know that this fragrance is outrageously expensive, but I knew that going in, you know, ordering directly from Xerjov website, which I have never done before, you're paying full price, it's expensive, there are shipping charges. I knew that coming into Canada, there was very high chance that I will be also hit with duties and taxes, which I was. So all of those things I sort of knew going in. So I'm not really taking them into account, but I do want to compare this one to other fragrances from this line, which is Casamorati line. Now, this is 100 mil, and the price of this one is 250 euros. If we compare it to all the other fragrances from Casamorati line, the price of those fragrances is 220 euros for 100 mil. So we have substantial difference. From what I understand, the last time Italica was released about a year ago, it also had a lower price than it has right now. I'm not sure if it was the same as the other ones, 220, if it was different, but I definitely know that it was lower than it is priced right now at 250 euros. Another point I wanna make here is that Italica only comes in 100 mils. All the other Casamorati fragrances come in 100 mils and 30 mils. So obviously you have an option of, you know, getting a smaller size and paying less, which I wish they had here as well. So given all of those facts, I would give this fragrance three out of five because the price is higher than the other Casamorati fragrances, which is why, just because it's limited edition, I think it should be priced the same as the other ones. Two, because they're only giving us 100 mil option, why not give us 30 mil as well, just like they have with the other ones. So again, for price, I am definitely giving it three out of five. My next criteria is performance, which is of course very, very important. And so far I've tested you know, a number of Xerjo fragrances. And so far I've had really good luck with their performance. Pretty much all of them perform really well. And I'm happy to tell you that this one is no exception. On me, performance is great. The longevity, uh, the projection, the sillage. I would not call this a beast, nor do I really want it to be a beast. Uh, when it's a really serious gourmand, I, I don't want it to be a huge beast, you know? But everything is 
done really nicely in moderation i would say you know the longevity is good the projection is not out of this world but it is good the sillage is not huge but it is there for me the performance is totally on point it performs well the longevity i would say is over eight hours for sure which is really great because as i mentioned many times before my skin eats up fragrance and many just don't last well on me this one does uh just like the other Xerjo fragrances that i have tested so i have absolutely no issues with the performance which is why i'm going to give it five out of five my next next category is scent profile so how does it smell does it smell good do i like the smell is it interesting is it unique you know things like that well obviously it's a gourmand fragrance and you know that i love gourmands so this is definitely up my alley i definitely enjoy the scent uh, i like the fact that it's not um overpoweringly sweet and i and i definitely like that the majority of the sweetness is coming from toffee rather than vanilla which is you know a lot more common which kind of brings me to the second point here i find this fragrance um somewhat unique um this is not a very common or a typical scent profile that at least i encountered um it is like i said to me it is somewhat unique and i definitely like it i also like the fact that it is definitely unisex so anyone can wear it so i am quite happy with the scent profile and this i would also say is one of those fragrances that for me i like it more and more the longer it sits on my skin and the more i wear it the more i like it i i've only had it for a few days so i can't um say this for sure but i have a feeling that this is going to be one of those addictive scents that once you start wearing it's hard uh to put down so scent profile for me is again i'm gonna give it five out of five because it's beautiful i enjoy it it is quite universal and it is quite unique in my experience and that brings us to sort of the the main question here and the last criteria well overall impression so is this a really the best gourmand ever you know that i always give you my honest opinions about fragrances even if they're not popular opinions always and i'm going to be honest with you here and my answer to this question is no in my opinion it is not the best gourmand ever um i'm telling you this honestly um it is not in my opinion um is this a great gourmand yes is this a unique gourmand yes do i enjoy wearing it yes am i happy to have it in my collection yes but is this the best gourmand ever no it is not so do you need to rush out and buy it uh if it was reasonably priced uh and we knew that this was limited edition which from what i understand it still is i would say yes but given the exorbitant price of this fragrance i would say sample it first I, and i know that it's not easy to find a sample of this fragrance that's why i've never had a chance to really sample it and this was a blind buy for me but i would say sample it first if you have an opportunity unless you're like me and this is like you know your biggest fragrance unicorn and you just need to have it in your collection then of course you buy it just like i did but if you don't feel that way about this fragrance sample it first uh, it is somewhat unique it is somewhat unusual gourmand uh, it is very interesting it is very beautiful but it is not the best gourmand ever at least <laughs> this is my opinion i um i i was hoping and and i thought that i would be able to tell you that yes this is the best thing ever and this was so worth it but i still think it was worth it to me it was worth purchasing because i really really wanted it 
but like I said, at the end of the day, I have to be honest with you, although it is beautiful, it is a great performer, it is a great fragrance overall, I smelled better gourmands, if I'm being completely honest with you. So there you go. This is um, my opinion on Xerge of Italica. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong. Overall, I'm thrilled to finally hold it in my hands and to have it. So I'd love to know if any of you ordered this fragrance and if you're thinking about getting it or if you have tried it in the past, what are your thoughts about it? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!